Okay, Montessori uses systematic synthetic phonics for teaching reading as well, but there are a few peculiarities. Number one, it teaches writing before reading or how to decode. This approach is considered organic because according to Montessori, the ability to write comes first and more naturally than the ability to blend sounds or read words. Number two, there don't seem to be a Montessori literacy curriculums as such. Please correct me if I'm wrong here, but what I see you have, if you want to follow this route, is more like courses that introduce you to the Montessori system and give you recommendations, so you can create your own homeschooling curriculum specific to your child's needs. Of course, you also have Montessori guides and books and, of course, um, Montessori materials that have been specifically created for teaching reading. And in that regard, there are three key materials that Maria Montessori relied on for teaching reading. And these are the materials that you're going to use as well if you want to teach your child to read the Montessori way. Number one is sound objects for phonemic awareness. Number two are some paper letters for connecting sounds to the letter symbols. They look like this and allow your child to swipe uh, his or her fingers along the form of the letters. The third material is a movable alphabet for writing full words before children master how to write with a pen. Lots of options here to get these materials on Amazon, on specific Montessori shops. For instance, the products you've seen are either from Amazon or from a shop called Montessori Services that seems to have everything you need in the Montessori space. Anyway, don't worry, I know it's a lot of information again. Remember, I'll leave you links on the video description and that you can download my notes as well. And finally, the last peculiarity of the Montessori system that I wanted to share with you today and pay attention because it's pretty important. These materials were all Maria Montessori needed to teach reading, but the system she developed was to teach how to read Italian. The Italian phonetic code is way, way simpler than the English one. In fact, I've even heard that it is the easiest language when it comes to learning to read. Children can learn in a few months. And if you do not believe me, I read it in a book by an eminent researcher. The book is called Reading in the Brain. Um, for me, actually, it makes sense because Italian is very, very regular, very transparent. Every letter represents only one sound. Um, sounds are represented always in the same way. So Maria's original reading program, while probably very good for the initial stages of learning to read, I can see that and I do not doubt it, is probably not going to be enough for dealing with all the complexities of the English spelling system. In fact, apparently his son Mario Montessori said, Dr. Montessori did not know the English language. It was left to the ingenuity of Montessori trained people to find a solution. So the English speaking world had to find a solution to fill the gaps. Most of the solutions I think uh, that are used right now were proposed by a teacher called Muriel Dwyer. This system is explained on the book, a path for the exploration of any language leading to writing and reading, which probably would be your go-to guide for teaching reading in English, according to Montessori principles. Honestly, I haven't read it. I wanted to, it's only 40 pages long, but I can find a place uh, where to buy it locally here in Australia. It's not on Amazon, um, it's not on major bookstores, uh, you cannot get it as an ebook. I found a website in the US, but the shipment was like $50, so too much to pay for a shipment. However, if you're in the US or in the UK, way easier, you have options. Anyway, what I've seen is that for the next stages of learning to read, apart from the materials, I've mentioned before, there are others. All of these materials will allow you to go ahead and execute Montessori activities and games for learning to read. This video is a fragment of a longer video in the channel where I explain all about the Montessori way to teach in reading, but also about other options that use phonics to teach reading. To watch that other video, click here.